Okay, so when we draw out organic molecules, uh, so far we've only seen kind of a, a cumbersome way to communicate structure. So for an example, let's look at um, the structure of propane. Propane's a really simple molecule, C3H8. If we draw this structure out as a, as a Lewis structure, this is our full structure of propane. We're showing the carbons. All those carbons have a full octet filled with hydrogens. And that's great, but that, that took a, quite a while to draw. And the um, fact is that's a really small molecule. We, we're going to have to communicate much larger structures in this. and We can't spend really long times drawing out structures. So as it turns out, there, there's a, a better method. And that better method is called line angle notation. And there are other names for it, but that's what a lot of people call it. So how is line angle notation so much better than writing out a full Lewis structure? Well, here is the representation for propane under line angle notation. That's it. So it's a very much a shorthand notation. The end of each line, I'll put a dot by the end of each, the end of each line represents where a carbon is. So each vertex in this, the bend of this line, that's a carbon. And then the two ends represent a carbon. How about the hydrogens? The hydrogens are assumed. So if you look at this end carbon, um, the one right next to that dot, it has one bond to another carbon atom that's right there. Now carbons typically make four bonds, and if nothing else is shown attached to that carbon, then you assume there are enough hydrogens on that carbon in order to fill the octet of that particular carbon. It has one bond, it needs three more bonds in order to fill its octet, therefore there must be three hydrogens on that carbon. So that's really a CH3 on the end, there's a line going up. That's a carbon that has two bonds to other carbons, therefore there must be two additional hydrogens on that carbon. I'll kind of squeeze them in there. And then it goes down to that position, to that carbon, which also has three hydrogens on it because we need those to complete the octet. So those are the basics of line angle notation. Um, you can put other atoms in your chain. So let's say you have a carbon that's attached to an oxygen and then there's another carbon. Well, that's fine. Um, this would be a CH3. That would be a CH3 to satisfy the octet. And both those CH3 groups are attached to an oxygen. You could have a chlorine hanging off of the end of a chain. So this carbon has two bonds, one to chlorine, one to oxygen. Therefore, that's a CH2 group right there. But we typically do not show the hydrogens. And that keeps our structures cleaner. Uh, it makes them much faster to draw and becomes a much more effective means of communication between organic chemists. So line angle notation is an improved method of communication for organic chemists.